Hey, how are you girls? How you doing? Hey, Dianita, Janet, Curtis, Antonio, and Esmeralda Beatriz. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, teacher. Hey, I'm so happy to see you Hi. again. Woohoo, yeah. Hey, teacher. Hello, welcome back to the jungle. <laughs> There you go. Oh my God. I don't know about you guys, but here where I live, oh, I think it's got about to rain, but it's really hot that I, 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 I said, um, I'm going to comb my hair today. You know, I'm going to iron my hair, something like that, but no, it's really hot. So I need to take a shower. Definitely. Sorry. <laughs> yes, definitely. What about you? Yes, is it hot where you live? Yes, too much. Too much hot. Yeah. Hotter. Oh my goodness. Oh, you live in Lourdes, right, Janet? No, I live no. in uh, Cumbre del Escalón. Oh, really? And even though yeah. it's hot? Too much hot. Ooh. Wow. What about you, uh, Carlitos? Where do you live? I live in Ayutuxtepec. It's very hot too. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah, uh, you took it's like near Mexicanos, right? Yes, no? it is. Oh, well, well, I'm not too bad in geography right now. <laughs> well, very good. What about you, Loida? Is it hot where you live? Hey, you gotta turn it on your microphone. You have to turn it off. Oops. Oops. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yeah. So, is it hot where you live? It's hot. Mm, kind of. Kind of. Uh, Where, where actually, do you live? Uh, in Ciudad Merliot. Oh, Merliot, yeah. Oh, but mm. this is, it's not. Merliot is a, a fresh environment, right? Yes, wow. actually, in this moment, mm -hmm. it looks like uh, it's, the, the, it's about it's, to rain. It will be raining. Ooh, wow. Later. That, that will be awesome. Because the rain will pamper us. We can sleep as babies. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love rain. I love, I love rain too. Mm -hmm. I remember I saw the saying, rain ducks keep falling on my... Dun, 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 dun. Remember that song? No? Yes. Have you heard that? Yeah? And yes. Yeah, I remember that. I think it was Fran Sinatra's song. I think so. Really? I don't yeah. think so. I hey, know. talking about songs. Hey, did you I practice? Sang, yes. All right. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah. Do, do you like that the one that it, that one I sent it to you because it um helps with the pronunciation paragraph by paragraph. Yes. I and, sent it to you for a purpose. Yes. yes. Exactly. Yes. And you can repeat that, and it's very very useful. Mm -hmm. And is and every time that the pronunciation it highlights right highlights yes. the word or the phrases. So that's what I sent yes. it to you. I know that I also sent another song, right? <laughs> for, I think it was for Eo. It was dedicated to her, but also, of course, everybody can practice it. That one was a little bit like faster, right? A little bit? No, it's very much faster. No, oh, really? Uh, the second one. Uh huh. The, the Jean Paul one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think that is very, very fast. Oh, yes. Comparing to the first one, of course. Yes. 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 Comparing yes. to the first one, yes. I sent it to you because Sean Paul, he's a white man, but he's a rapper. He's a white rapper. Uh, basically, like Eminem. Oh, uh, kind of, exactly. Kind of, kind of like him. But the way he pronounced it, oh my goodness, it's really complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated, but yes. it sounds like ja jam. Slam. I don't know. Modern. modern? Slam. No, yes. 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 He used a lot. And that's why, because I want you guys to get used to the different pronunciation, because in the States, depends on wh which where you're coming. You can from from Houston, from Louisiana, for Washington, for Denver, for New York, for Bronx. And you will have a lot of accents that you cannot imagine. Like yes. us. Like, exactly. But there, it will be a little bit harder because it's not the same to listen, for example, Latin people like Jean Paul, but grown from little baby. from He was a grow, growing in the Bronx. 
So the way he pronounces the words that he uses is totally different of also AMM, for example. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I sent it to you because you need to get used to the different kind of pronunciation, rhythms, and sometimes they do not open the mouth. And sometimes they don't use like a whole phrases, they use construction words. For example, they can use, they use a slam, they, they use gonna, told ya, wanna, et cetera, like examples of that. Yeah. And those are slam. Yeah. yeah. So uh, right after that, I'm going to send you a video <laughs> about a, a black guy talking about a different kind of bird tense that we're not used to. It. <laughs> well, no, you, I, I am used to it, but it's normally not teach because basically it's like, oh my God, they already know by heart because they use it every single day. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to you that video. It is a short video. It's like one or two minutes or more than that. No more than that. And he will listen to you. He will, he will try to explain to you what is that. It's a, it's a verb that can mix present, past, and future at the same time. Wow, <laughs> that's even that's really nice. And a black guy explained it, so you gotta pay attention to that. Sounds complicated. No, <laughs> no, no, no. But maybe in the first time, yes, maybe you will understand only five percent. But then, if you play it one more time and ten after ten times, I think you will understand. It. After ten, yes. After ten times. After ten times. Okay. Uh, and the fifty percent. Wow. Yes, but I want you to get used to it. Um, so that's why I try to play it. To, basically today, guys, because just last week, we have started already the simple past. And supposedly everybody did their homework, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, because the homework was about a simple past. Uh, but today, I'm going to focus a lot, guys, and the listening, but at the same time, pronunciation pronunciation okay. of questions because you sometimes you pronounce the deed but there's a reduction on a deed you know that it is and you just slightly pronounce it but it's not like market and that helps a little bit to also not also to speak fluently but at the same time to try to sound more natural and more native but it's really important to get into the intonation area so we're going to focus on that as well, a lot. So do you remember, guys, what was the homework? Eh? Did everybody remember? <laughs> Steffi, Dianita, Mr. Alexander, Eileen, Santiago, good night. Uh, Kevin Jose, Sirhan, good night, sir. Hey, uh-huh. Hey, well, I'm going to ask you a few questions, hopefully. You will be able to understand to answer me, guys. I'm gonna let you speak. I'm not gonna interrupt you anything. I'm not gonna to correct you anything. I'm just gonna let you be, okay? After that, we're going to double check everybody. But right now, no. So let me ask you, Mr. Surhan, how was your weekend? Uh, I fine. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Uh, I ride the bike and the. Uh, the with my friends mm -hmm. from from Santa Tecla to El Sunsal. Ooh, really? Wow! Yes. That was a huge one. 80, a long 80, distance, my 84 man. Eighty-four kilometers. Eighty-four kilometers. Wow! Kilometers. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost, almost three hours. Poor legs. <laughs> but I tired, very tired. Of tired, course, tired. of course, I can imagine. Uh, you know what? You're tired, you practice it. Imagine me that I just listen to you the story and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Guys, listen carefully because I'm I want you guys to pay attention of each of classmates because you don't know who am I going to pick. And I want you guys to tell me what had happened to a specific classmate this weekend, okay? So you got to pay attention. Very good. Thank you, Zerhan. Miss Lloyd, okay, what about you? you? What the, how was your weekend? I was very, 
uh, regular, but but nice too because mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday Monday morning I went to the supermarket. I cooked the lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, at the afternoon I went to the cafe alone with my sisters. <laughs> And we did exercises. Yeah. I ran five kilometers. And uh, at night, I spent time with my father and my all my sisters and brothers. Wow. <laughs> On Sunday morning, I got up uh, very, very uh, uh, late. <laughs> really? What <Yes>. time? <laughs> I made a breakfast. Uh, almost uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, that was really late. 10 o'clock? Yes. There was a brunch. <laughs> yes. Okay. Without uh, champagne. Without champagne. Okay. <laughs> and in the afternoon, I, uh, my husband uh, went to my um, mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. No. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm just going to let you be. Okay, okay, thank you. And I um, stay alone at home and I rest a lot. And I started to watch a series on Netflix called Suits. Mm -hmm. Was was terrible because I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have had a lot of time that don't do it. Uh, um watch watching so much television mm. um, mostly i read a book or, or or i do exercise but rest uh, for a long time i have had many many times uh, don't do it so it was very very nice oh that's excellent Really Thank relaxing you. weekend. That's amazing. Yes. yes yeah, yes. of course. You deserve I need it. it. Of course. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Loida. Okay, Thank let's you. let's listen to Janet. Janet, what about you, girl? Hi. Uh, How was your weekend? Um, it was a lot of tiring, but it was well. Why? What did you do? Well, um, Saturday, I took I took to my mother to get her coronavirus vaccine. Uh huh. And Shot. yeah. And I I stayed at her home all the day. Mm -hmm. I cook for her for her and my and my, and my dad. Mm -hmm. What yeah. did you cook? Ah, uh, a little of. I, Tell mm. us, please. Let's share the recipe <laughs> with everybody. Come on. What did you cook? Even though hamburgers are okay, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't. Uh, but um she didn't want to say the recipe, you know. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Go ahead. Just, a little of meat, a little of meat ah, with, okay. with okay. vegetables. And vegetables with rice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, it was uh, acceptable. Okay. <laughs> At least nobody uh, got sick. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, wonderful. Then on on Sunday, I also went to her house again, mm -hmm. but with my daughter, mm -hmm. and rest with my father, my my father and my mom. Oh, that's nice. That was really oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Also relaxing weekend. Amazing. Very good. It's really nice to spend time with family and friends. Very yeah. good. All right, Steffi. Thank you, Janet. What about you, Stephanie Ramirez? How was your weekend, girl? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, it was it was great. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Well, um Saturday I get I got up early because mm -hmm. I went to I went to run. Okay. Uh, then I'm going with Loida right now. Um, similar. Okay. <laughs> and in the afternoon, I watch watch a lot of movies with my siblings. Mm -hmm. And then 
Sunday, my family came at home and I spent a, a great time with, with them. Um, in the um, in the night, mm -hmm. we we eaten, uh, we ate many pupusas. Who you did delicious. you prepare them? So delicious. Did you prepare no, them? No. no. <laughs> oh, you bought it. No, no. Yeah. Ah, we no. Oh. <laughs> but can you prepare pupusas? Can you do it? Um, yeah, but uh, I prefer bye. Why? Because it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I I am still learning. Oh, you still learning? You yeah. know what? Do the quarantine, I had to learn how to make tortillas and pupusas. The first one were a completely disaster. <laughs> I'm with you, a completely disaster. But then I was like getting the the consistency of the of of the ingredients and all the stuffs. So basically, now I can I can prepare pupusas. And tortillas, yeah, at least from Maseca, but I can't do it. <laughs> and I'm proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, whiskey I loves it. Prepare. I can be pre I prepare, but my family is big and is ah, it's prepare. a lot of work to do. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> my sister yeah. lives in Costa Rica, That's and she and she prepares pupusas there, and she sells them. Not too bad. Wow. Yeah, wow. that's good. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. She, yeah, it's sometimes it, they, she can say to the, or tell the neighbors that she's going to do it. And well, they send um, how much or how and how many they would like. And then she prepared. So that's nice. nice. Yes, it's nice. You don't know how you're going to use it or if it's going to help you to, for, for living, right? So it's really important to learn a lot of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Very good. Thank you, Steffi. Let's listen to Santiago Ramirez. Mr. Santiago, how are you doing, sir? Hopefully, Santiago is here. Hi, Santiago. Hi. How are you? Hi. I can hardly hear you. You're breaking up a little bit. Oops. Hi. Are you, are you driving? I think so. I cannot hear you, Santiago. Maybe it's the internet? By the way. Yeah? Yes. OK, go ahead. Oh, it's raining already where you live. Oh, my god. Oof. Wow. Yeah, I, it, it hurts like that, right? Like it's Lucky. raining a lot. Lucky. Yeah, lucky him. Santiago, can you hear us? I think he has right now an internet problems connection, guys, due to the raining things, I, right? Yeah, don't worry, Santiago, try to, I will leave you right now and try to fix it or when the rains get down a little bit, we can just come back with you, okay? Don't worry about that. I understand that. Uh, Carlitos, Antonio, what about you, sir? Carlitos. Well, the, uh, hey. Hi. Hi. And the, the last uh, weekend, Mm -hmm. I was I was busy. You were very busy. The, okay. Yeah, a little. A little. I repaired. I, I fixed the the fuse. And okay. and yes, and the in the afternoon uh, mm -hmm. I cook in the a chicken soup. <laughs> really? Wow, and, congratulations! Uh, hey, yeah. tell us your recipe. I love. Uh -uh. Uh, it, Only, no, oh, nobody onions, wants to share the recipe. Can you eh, imagine? Potatoes, fruit. <laughs> uh -huh. Potatoes, <laughs> what else? Carrots, what else? Uh, Carrots. Uh, I, I don't know how to say whiskey in English. But that is, whiskey is all over um, the world. Salary. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, salary and other ingredients. Ingredients. Uh -huh. Ingredients, yes. Like uh, yeah. Morocco? No, 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 but in the afternoon, it was very easy. Really? Uh, Why? I, yes, because I, I call the pizza hut. I need ah. one pizza, pizza. <laughs> so in the afternoon, yes. your, your dinner was pizza. <laughs> okay. Yes, dinner was pizza. 
Of course. And someday I was I went to the church. Okay. In the uh, in the in the afternoon, the Sunday afternoon, I watched the the TV a little, and then at night mm -hmm. I. I study in English. Oh my goodness! It so my... so so efficient. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> uh -huh. A little. Okay, Big. but uh, no, but a little is a little. Congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> I'm so but proud of only you. Teacher. Well, no, but that's good. That was great. Hey, when you finish, guys, there is a word that you use when you finish. That, that means that there is nothing more to say or nothing more to share. You just said the word, that's it, right? Like, right. I'm finished, okay? That's okay. it, and we understand that it's over, okay? So next time that you tell us your story, said, that's it, okay? Very good. Okay, let's listen to Alexander. Alexander, what about you, guy? Hey, what about you last weekend? How was your weekend? Alex, I cannot hear you. Alex, not? a little bit, Alex. Sorry, let me see. Much better. What about now? Much better. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a lot of busy. Really? Um, Why? Busy. What did you do? Uh, I work as a teacher, so I had to work all the week. You were a teacher, you said? Sorry? You are a teacher? Yes. Oh, really? What What subject did you teach? Um, it's in the college. It's like something related with education and uh, organization. Hey, that's amazing. Yeah, so I had to prepare some classes. Oh, I okay. Been, uh, I understand. Some homework. Mm -hmm. And... Then I have to, to check some tests. It was a lot, <laughs> but wow. not worry. It was so nice. A lot of work, but th but that uh, took you the two days, Saturday and Sunday, or did you do something else uh, special on Sunday? Mm, no, uh, well, it was a different station. Okay. I guess I. They had to, to make a big difference to fix uh, some classes. Okay. But that was all. That was all. No, 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 no. What is the phrase? What? What is the phrase that you use when you finish? Um, I just told you right now, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, who can help him? Help him. <laughs> Help him, guys. That, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Exactly. That's it. Okay. Repeat it, Mr. Alexander. That's yeah, that's, that's my boy. It. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. okay. So thank much. You. No, thank you. Uh, Araceli, <laughs> you help him too. So tell us, girl, how was your weekend? What did you do? Well, I had a quite family weekend. Oh, that's On amazing. Time. On Saturday, I made proposal. You made table. proposals? <laughs> and on Sunday, I listened some music and continue reading my book. I'm oh. reading a book of Charles Dickens. Wow. What is the book about? Um, it's in Spanish. French uh, book, it okay. Made, it, named, it named is uh, Grandes Esperanzas. I think it's Great Hopes. Dickens. <laughs> what, sure. what is the name of the author? Uh, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens? Oh, yes. yes. That is the, the um, same one that it. I wrote. Uh, what is uh, um, Moby Dick? He wrote La Cabaña de Yotom. Yeah, also Moby Dick, right? Moby Dick, yes. Moby Dick, yes, I remember that. Uh, uh, I think okay. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Ebenezer Scrooge as well or no? Herman Melville. Herman Melville, right? It's like a baña tío right? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's nice. It. 
Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. All right. Let, I'm, I'm going to ask somebody who can tell me about the ones that have participated. So hopefully Kevin, Eileen, Kerry, Dianita, Esmeralda <laughs> have listened carefully, okay? <laughs> All right, Kerry, how are you, girl? Hi, teacher. Hi, I, I think you were paying attention, right? I think so. <laughs> well, do your best. Yes. All righty. And tell me something. Eh, eh, eh. What, uh, what was Mr. Uh, Miss Loida's weekend? What did she do? Now she put her microphone on mute. You running? No, no, no. I need, I need Kerry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, Kerry. Can you please tell us about Loida's weekend? Uh, of course, not everything, but what you remember. <laughs> Hopefully you were paying attention. Creo que no había entrado cuando ya estaba hablando. Of course you did already. I saw you. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't listen. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So do me a favor. <laughs> I want you to turn on the camera every time that you log in. Okay? Yes. And do you remember somebody like Sirham or Janet or Stephanie? Gary? Miss Gary, I think she's gone, right? Yes, I think she's gone. So you know, guys, I, I want everybody to pay attention because you don't know who am I going to pick, okay? All right, let me check. Dianita, what about you, Dianita? Dianita. Hi, good Hi, good evening, Dianita. Do you remember what Janet said about her weekend? Um, no, listen. Um, days are running. What? Days are running. Who are running? Um, running. Estaba lloviendo. Ah, it was raining. Raining. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Did you listen, Loira or Stephanie or Surham? Um, I listen Loida. Loida, okay. So, Loida. okay. So, do me a favor. Tell us about Loida's weekend. Um, what do you remember? Uh, you went. You or she? Ah, uh, she went. Mm. <laughs> she went. Aruni. Okay. Five kilometers. Uh huh. Five uh, kilometers. Okay. Um. Um, she went um, supermarket. Uh huh. She went to supermarket. Yes. Good morning. Uh huh. Good morning on Saturday. Uh huh. Saturday morning. Okay. Um, on Sunday she went and um, watch watch play in the morning. Watch uh -huh. play in the morning. Okay. Um, Do you remember at what time she got up on Sunday? On Sunday. Uh huh. Did she get up early or late? Late. Uh huh. And late. Around what time? Do you remember? Around what time? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no. Okay, around you 10. You don't remember. Ah, you don't remember. Okay, Ar but around 10. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Dianita. <laughs> Very good job. You have a good memory. Excellent. Eileen, what about you, Eileen? Now is your turn, girl. Good evening. Good evening, Eileen. Do you remember what Stephanie said about her weekend? Um, yes. Okay, can you please tell us about it? Uh, I listen that Steffi mm -hmm. 
Eight pupusas. Uh, eight pupusas, uh -huh. uh-huh. Hey, let she, me ask you, did she make them or she bought them? She bought. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't remember more. <laughs> no way. Well, at least she remembered that you bought pupusa, Steffi. <laughs> uh, maybe because Eileen is hungry. <laughs> that could be I, the reason why, right? <laughs> I have bad memory, sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, I have noticed that. I'm <laughs> not just kidding. <laughs> well, but good try. Good try. Excellent job. Thank you so much for trying, Amy. Let me I know I know it's hard, right, guys? It's hard to like uh, use information of what other people said. But what we're doing right now is not only just to practice uh, the past tense, but at the same time, guys, is try to help you. In, put, do like an indirect speech. Remember the indirect and direct speech? Have you seen that before? No, right? And direct speech is to tell to tell in your own words what other people did. Yes. And sometimes it is hard because of course we're not going to remind everything, right? Like what happened to Eileen. She just remember about pupusas, right? Know the whole story that Stephanie said. But at least some information and you got to use it. You got to switch and you got to use the verb tenses because these ones we're talking about past tense. It's really hard, right? To talk about past tense. I know it's easier when you're talking about when you do using your present tense, but when you're using past tense, it's difficult. So don't worry, okay? This was your first and uh, we can set your first exam. Because I evaluate each of you every single every single night. I do it. I'm, I have a specific evaluations for you. So I understand. I, I evaluate participation, cooperation, listening, everything. I, I evaluate a lot of things that you cannot imagine. So uh, that's why I'm happy that you are here, right? And, okay. So now, guys, we're going to, as I ask you, and I, as I said at the beginning of the question of the... Um, today's class, we're going to work on the intonation, right? Okay, so let me uh, let me write something right now. Somebody said, Carrie. Aha, uh -huh. Carrie said that she has a problem with the Wi-Fi. Okay, no problem. All right, let me check. I'm gonna share right now with you something, guys, and I want you to try to um, pronunciate for me, okay? Let me share, let me share right now. Okay, I sent a question of past tense with did, as I just know question, right? Okay, could do do me a favor, guys. Can you pronounce it, that question for me? Did you have a good time? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Araceli. Sir, what about you? It's in the chat. My day. No, it's my day. No, it, it, it's on the chat. It's a Zoom chat. Did you have a good time? Okay, thank you. Alex, what about you? Do you have a good time? Okay, thank you. Janet? Do you have a good time? All right, thank you. Steffi? Steffi, your microphone is off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Excellent, thank you. Mr. Rano, what about you, sir? Mr. Rano, I think he's here, but not really. <laughs> Araceli, what about you? Um, if you have a good time. Okay, thank you, excellent. Good with the intonation, guys. Okay, let me just share with you another question. Just allow me one moment. Now let's use WH question, okay? Okay, what about the second one? And Carlos Antonio. 
What did you do last night? Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, Miss, Mr. Kevin, can you pronounce the second question for me, please? What did you do last night? Very good. Thank you. Esmeralda, what about you? Can you pronounce the second question for me? What did you do last night? Excellent. Dianita, what about you? What did you do? Last night. Uh huh. Very good, Mr. Rano. Are you here already? Hello, sir. I think he's here, but I think he's on stand up or stood up, and went for a glass of water, or something like that. Okay, Kerry, what about you? Kerry still has a bad connection with the Wi-Fi. Boris, what about you? Mr. Boris, is Boris here? I think they have problems with the Wi-Fi. Maybe it's, it's raining where they live. That could be. Okay, Alexander, what about you? What did you do last night? Very good, excellent. And let me share with you the last one. Another one with a WH question. What about this one? How do you like the movie? How do you like the movie? Okay. Loida? How did you like the movie? Mm -hmm. Very good. Sirahan? How do you like the movie? Mm -hmm. Eileen? How did you like the movie? Very good. Kevin? How did you like the movie? Very good. Alex? <clears throat> <clears throat> Alexander, you have your Microsoft off. Oops, <laughs> like Steffi. <laughs> How do you like your movie? Very good. Boris, are you here already? I don't know, I don't think so. Dianita, what about you? How did you like the movie? Very good. Santiago, is your um, Wi-Fi already good? Yes. Okay, do it, do it, do your best. Pronounce the second question for me. How do you like the Third. movie? Excellent, very good. Okay, guys, so you said that you have a good time, right? What did you do last night? How do you like the movie? You see, you hear my pronunciation? I do not say, what did you, did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How do you like the movie? Because if I said that, everybody will understand that I used the deed, right? And of course, but now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to do that, how to pronounce a deed, but in a way that it is reduced in the intonation. Do you have a good time? You see, do you have a good time? What do you do to the side? How do you like the movie? You see, I know what is there, but is if you pay attention, it is, it is reduce it. You don't, you don't notice that you pronounce that, the deed in, in those questions. So we're going to learn how to do that, how to reduce the pronunciation of deed to sound more natural, right? And to speak more fluently. It could be a little bit hard at the beginning, okay? But don't worry. So right now, let me play the audio for you. Please pay attention and try to catch the idea of where where they put the intonation? How are the words that they link together? Or if you can if you can detect where they reduce the pronunciation of did. Okay, uh, do you understand now? Yeah, let's practice the intonation and the listening, guys. This is really really important. So let me just a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me share right now my screen with you. Page forty five. Exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Okay, you wanna play it one more time, guys? 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. One more time. Page 45. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? All right. So, guys. Page 45. Do you detect the pronunciation? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I know it was, it was really yes. reduced, right? You know that, that the deed was there. Because you know that the, those are the, that is the auxiliary that we use to talking about past, right? But if you, if you detect it, it is really slightly pronunciated. So that's what we're yeah. going to practice right now. The pronunciation. Do you have a good time? Do you have a good time? What did you do last night? How do you like the movie? You see? How do you like the movie? I do not say, how did you like the movie? How do you like the movie? I did you like the movie. movie? Uh-huh. Exactly. To sound more natural. So let me share right so, now my screen with you. So the article yes, is it reduced when it's in the middle of the sentences, but when it's in the first, it's in the beginning. At the beginning? Uh-huh. At the beginning, it's more... Um, uh, large the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm gonna do. I will uh, play the audio, but at the same time, I will share the the image with you guys. So I want you guys to pay attention. I'm gonna play the audio one more time, and I will share right now the image with you about the three cent, the three questions. Okay. So I'm, I want you guys to read it, the questions, and listen the audio once again. You will notice where you need to like make the reduction. Okay, I already share with you. Do you receive it? Yeah? Yes. Did you? Okay. Okay, now that everybody has it, I'm gonna play the audio one more time. Five, exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Uh-huh. Did you notice that? Okay. Let's try to pronounce it, okay? Let's try to do our best. Of course, you don't, you don't, don't worry if you don't sound like the recorder machine, okay? Don't worry about that but try to do your best. Okay, first participant. Okay, Sir Han, go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have a good time? Did Continue. You, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Continue. What did you do last night? Mm -hmm. How did you do like the movie? Okay, very good, excellent, good try. Loira, what about you? Uh, did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Very good, excellent. Janet, what about you? Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How, how, do, you, how do you like the movie? Okay, very good. The last one is a little bit hard, right? But that's <laughs> good. Excellent though. <laughs> very good, excellent. Okay, Dianita, what about you? Oh, yeah, I knew it. Did you... Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. What you last night? How did you love the movie? Very good, excellent. Araceli, what about you? How do you do? No, did you have a good time? Um, uh huh. What did you do last night? Mm -hmm. And I forgot the other one. How do you? What was the third one, guys? Help her. I send it on the WhatsApp, Araceli. Are you in the WhatsApp or no? Yes, I'm in the 
Yes, but I, I only see what did you do last night. What about the last one? How did you like the movie? How do you like the movie? Is there a Rosalie in the last one? Okay, how do you like the movie? Very good, excellent. Good job. Ruano, are you there? I'm worried about Ruano because Ruano is there, but he's not there. Yes, it's uh, Finally. Yes. <laughs> All right. I it's got a feeling. It's raining here. It's raining. Now tonight's gonna be a good night, okay? <laughs> All right, so I got a feeling that you're here. All right, Mr. Reno, you were listening, okay. right? That's everything. Okay, so I sent a three questions on the WhatsApp chat. Can you please be so kind to read them for us? Okay, did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. What did you do last night? Uh huh. How did you look? How did you like the movie? Very good, excellent, good job. Alex, what about you? Um, do you have a good time? Mm -hmm. What did you do last night? Mm -hmm. And how do you like the movie? Very good, Kevin, what about you? Kevin. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Very good. Almost perfect, the last one. Why? Huh? Almost Why? perfect. Because the last one you didn't, you, you quietly uh, used the did. I know that was oh. there, but you did it. Yeah, you quietly reduce it. But the first Paricha. two, uh huh. But the first oh. two, you need to like continue practicing. But well, well done. Excellent. Okay. Excellent job. Uh, uh, uh. Boris, what about you? Boris. Boris. Hi. Hello. Is it you I'm looking for? <laughs> is, and the, in, instead of is it me I'm looking for, is it you, right? Okay. Okay. I think Boris is here, but for some reason something happened with his internet. So. Let's wait for him. Uh, 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 who else? Uh, Steffi. Yes, Steffi, I'm missing you. <gasps> yes, now it's your turn, girl. Go ahead. You can do it. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. What did you do last night? Mm -hmm. Did you like the movie? Yeah, very good. Excellent job, girl. Very good job. Okay. Kiri, uh, is your internet working already? I think no. Yeah, I think the problem is that where they live, maybe it's already start raining and it was really hard. Remember Santiago that had a problem, right? So that could be. Okay, let's wait. Very good, guys. Very good job. I had to congratulate all of you. That's excellent. Good work on the pronunciation. Of course, of course. With practice, it will improve, okay? So don't worry, Kevin. With practice, you will pronounce all of them correctly, okay? But you did an excellent job, my man. Excellent job. Congratulations, sir. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> I think it's like, no. I'm not crying. What are you talking? <laughs> uh, you're crying? Okay, I was asking you, and you and nobody, and you didn't answer. So I was like, oh, he's so crying. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm just teasing you, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so now, guys, we continue with the listening part. And today, we, we're still talking about uh, past, okay? Still talking about past. But now, we're going to, to learn something new. And, of course, continue with press. Um, what you're going to listen, guys, you're going to listen to people. John and Laura, and they are going to describe what they did last night, okay? So I want you guys to pay attention. I'm gonna play the audio two times. The first time, I'm not gonna give you the writing things. I'm just, I George, how to try to catch as more information as you can, okay? As much information as you can. And then the second time, I will give you a writing thing so you can have writing and at the same time listening, okay? Because we're trying, guys, to improve our listening skill, but also try to go 
step by step to, to have another skill develop at the same time so we can become multi-skill, multitasking. Okay, so allow me just a couple of minutes. And let me share right now with you the information that I need. Okay, there you go, I have this one. Okay, that's the one that I need. All right, so let me share right now my screen with you guys. And you, are you guys ready? Yes. Mm. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. that's the spirit that I need, come on. All right, very good. Uh, 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 um. Okay, Mr. Carlos Polanco has a problem with the internet. Hopefully he can fix it. Exercise so, seven, okay, guys. listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house. He invited me over for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was excellent, but he talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched a boring sports video. How awful. I know how you feel about sports. I didn't get home until after midnight. That doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. Oh, yeah? What did you do? I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We went to high school together. We had lots to talk about. I stayed out until about 1 a.m., so I got home really late, too. <laughs> It sounds like you had a better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. So, guys, tell me something. What did John uh, do last night? Do you remember something? Uh, have a dinner in the boss house. Uh-huh. Very good. Excellent. What about Laura? Party in middle school. Okay, part of the middle school. Anybody else has more opinions? Anything else that you remember for them? No? Uh, Laura went to mm -hmm. a party. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys, now I'm going to share with you the um, small square that I have. I have John and Laura, and I have uh, one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, five possible uh, answers. So let me share right now with you and then it will be a little bit much better and a little bit easy for you. So let me just a couple of minutes and I'm gonna play the audio one more time. This time I want you guys to pay attention and try to click on who did who, on who did what. There you go, there you go. Is everybody has information? Yeah, does everybody has it? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Let me play the audio one more time and then we can do it together. Go Page ahead. 46, exercise seven, listening. What did you do last night? Part A, listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house. He invited me over for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was excellent, but he talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched a boring sports video. How awful. I know how you feel about sports. I didn't get home until after midnight. That doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. Oh, yeah? What did you do? I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We went to high school together. We had lots to talk about. I stayed out until about 1 a.m., so I got home really late, too. <laughs> it sounds like you had a better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, guys. So now you have a better idea. Look who's here once again. She loves English classes, you know. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, so tell me, guys, according to what we have heard right now, 
for example, who went to a party, John or Laura? Laura. 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 Okay. Who had a good meal? John. 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 Who watched John. the video? John. 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 Who met an old friend? John. Laura. Laura. Who got Laura. home late? John. Both. Laura. Both. Very good. Very Laura. good. In this case, John. Was John who got home late? All right, so let's repeat the phrase, okay? The phrase is because it will help us guys to, un to understand or to like detect what is exactly the verb that we can use when we're talking about party. For example, if I said go to party, we use go, right? Go went. to party. But in the past of go, went. Went. Okay, so repeat went. after me. Went to party. Went, went to, to party. party. Had a good meal. Have a good, have a good, good meal. meal. No have a. Remember that is past, had. had. Yeah. And had, then we have had. a, right? Ah, so it's had a, had a good meal. Had a, had had a good meal. meal. Had a good meal. Had a good meal. Had a good meal. Exactly. Watched a video. Watched, Watched a video. A video. Mm -hmm. a video. And let's pay attention to this one. Met an old friend. 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 Yeah, exactly. I know it's hard, right? Because we need to like join three words at the same time. Met an old. Met, met, yeah. an, met an old. Met an old. Met an old. Yeah. Met an old. You see? Met an old friend. Met an old. Met an old. Got home late. 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 Very good. Got Excellent. Late. I told you guys that today will be pronunciation, intonation. I know, like, maybe it will be like, all right. But of course. Yeah, we're, we're going to practice tongue twisters. Don't worry about that. I promise you. <laughs> no, teacher. Okay, so now, guys, we will continue listen these two guys. And but, but let me ask you something. Well, no, we don't have to listen. We, we can remember. Guys, who, John or Laura, had a good time? Who had a good time? Laura. All right. Laura. 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 Who didn't have a good time? Laura. John. John. Okay. Tell me, why you say that, guys, that Laura had a good time? Why? Because she said, she said it. Uh-huh. Exactly. And what yeah. else? Mm -hmm. She got that she met fun. an old friend. Because she met an old friend, exactly. Yeah. What about Mr. John? Boring. Uh, boring. <laughs> Why? What happened to boring. him? Boring. What happened to him? Because, because he watched a video, the football video game. And, 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 and he, he loves hates. soccer by heart, right? Uh, he hates it. Yeah. He hates it. He hates it. Yeah, but he was out of his boss house or what he could do, right? Like mm. Yeah, do you like it? Mm, yes, of course. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> oh, really, no. Hey guys, that had happened to you that sometimes you had to watch something that you don't like? Yes, I, yeah. I quit. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Oh. It's boring. that I don't like. Uh-huh. I had a, a high to a hard to age that uh, I don't liked. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, but that happens, yes. Poor, poor John, right? Oh, I'm sorry for him. Now, guys, it, we're going. I'm going to teach you something because um, we need to learn how to like ask consecutive questions. Of course, in past, right? For example, because some, sometimes you said, "Hey, what did you do last night?" Mm, I went to a movie, mm. and then you're like. Mm. What else I had to ask? What else can I ask? Like, mm, and then, mm, and then you're like, mm, intonation. exactly. And you are like five seconds. You're like, mm, what else can I say? Right. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in order to us to like communicate much better, do not sound like robot. And at the same time, try to like speak more fluently, more naturally and get used to like, uh, like a real conversation, one-on-one -on -one conversation, we have to learn how to ask consecutive questions. For example, let me share with you an example. Uh, if I said, um, what did you do last weekend, for example? And I can say, I went dancing on Saturday night. So what would be the other question? Where did you go, right? 
I was I went dancing Saturday night. I want to know where, right? So you said, where do you go? Well, uh, I rock, I went, or you can say to the rocket club, for example, who did you go with? I went with my friends. What time did you go? And we went around 10, you see? It was small conversation, but you use sequence questions, okay? That is like an example. The question will be depends, guys, or what is exactly you did, right? In this case, I used those questions because um, there was something about I went to a party, right? So if I went to a party, you want to know where do you go? Who do you go with, for example, right? And at what time do you go, right? You see? So for example, let's work with Loida. Loida, what do you do on Sunday? Tell us, what do hey, you do on Sunday? I rest a lot and I started to watch a series on Netflix. Oh, who do you watch the Netflix with? I was alone. Was alone, oh, okay. Around what time you were watching uh, Netflix? About five hours, I don't know. <laughs> no, you know, you know, if I out during that time, but I wanna know what time did you start? Ah, I started about 1 p.m. Around? Okay. Around. When you're not so sure about the specific time, guys, that you start or you do some activity or you did some activity, you said around. That means approximately that time. Okay? Yes, I okay. started around 1 p.m. Very One good. Thing. Okay, so guys, I want you to I want to listen to you. Let me double check. Loida, can you ask Mr. Ruano? Hi, Ruano, how are you? <laughs> okay, you can ask him what did he do last night? No, for example. Yes. Okay, Mr. Ruano, put your Microsoft on, please. <laughs> Hi, Carlos. What did Hi. you do last night? Uh, I'm gonna disappear. Don't worry, but we'll listen to you. Okay. I was sick last night. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I was what? You was what? Sick. Bad. Very bad. He said that he was sick. Yes. Ah, you was sick. I'm sorry yes. to hear that. And and. What do you feeling? What did you feel? Hmm. I am tropa, tropain. Ah, okay. I have tropain. Tropain. It's Tropa. in your mouth. I okay. don't understand it. No, Do, this, Ruano? <laughs> this? Is that, is that what you're trying to say? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, when, when, oh. when you have a pain, like <coughs> here, when you have a pain like this, cough. Is that, is that, no, it's a sore throat. Oh. Mm. Sore throat. <laughs> cough is like, <laughs> but if you have pain in your neck, but inside, it's a sore throat. So I, have a, I have a sore throat problem. Let me write it right now for you. Did you have a sore throat? Sore throat. Sore throat. Yes. Sore throat. I, I, will, I'm, I already sore sent it to the chat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Throat. Sore uh -huh. throat. Throat. Remember that TH is like Z as in zebra, right? So throat. Yes. Throat. Throat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you said I had a sore throat. Say it. Throat. I had a sore throat. I have a sore throat. Very good. So what would be your question, Lloyd? And what did you take for that? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I don't know. They, I took. I took. I took. Yes, I took. Uh, I'm oxygening. Amoxicillin, or you can say cough pills. Okay. Oh. Uh, but but amoxicillin is an antibiotic, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. And what do you? Um, how do you feel now? 
<laughs> Very good. <laughs> I feel better. Much better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very I'm happy good. to hear that. Me too. Because that means that he will be able to speak. <laughs> uh, very good you know what i was uh, uh, he said that he was sick right so i should ask him hey did you did you took uh, did you take some medication for that or did you go to the doctor by any chance okay. yeah because you know it is like re remember that we're using past tense questions right did you yes okay, okay. But, but very good good try i know it's not it's it, it's not easy right guys to do consecutive no, questions. It's not easy. It's not no. easy. Yeah, it's not easy. But I'm doing this kind of exercise just for you to get used to, okay? So during we're talking about simple past, we will use, we'll do this kind of exercises, okay? I promise okay. you. All right. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness, time passed really fast. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks God, Ruano said, yes. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to send it to you um, information because I know, guys, that you already handle uh, the regular and the irregular. Bro. So it's good. I know that. Uh, we're going to, I will send you some information right now. And also, as I promised you, a link that helps you the pronunciation of our regular verbs in the three categories that we had. But tomorrow, we're going to focus on uh, something that you already know, but I wanted to reinforce a little bit. And this is the past tense with the verb to be. Okay, this is really, really important. So we're going to focus on that tomorrow. And basically, we're going to finish the, the past tense. But, air, but guys, from today and on, I will ask you every single class. And, and I have an elephant memory. Well, talking about English, right? Because talking about other things, no. But in English, yes, I, yes, yes. That, that question will be, how was your day? And you have to use verb tenses in the past. Okay, for now on, okay. every time I'm going to ask you, of course, I'm not going to ask everybody. I will pick three or four, at least five. But I want to know how was your day. You can start when you open your little, your beautiful eyes in the morning, of course, <laughs> until you finish the class. Okay, that could be. Yes, but I want you, uh, yes, but I want you to tell me something. And you know what? And I will, I will ask you for something. But at the, at the, uh, when we finish simple class, okay, I have already in mind a homework that I would like you to do. Yes, and John is like, oh my God, the t-shirt always, yes, I'm a Pandora box. I'm a Pandora box, talking about English. Yes, I'm a Pandora box. And like Felix the cat back, remember that Felix the cat? Yes? Yes, Rano, Felix El Gato, Felix the cat? Yeah, that he, that he opened the big box and you, you don't know what he's going to get out of it. I'm like that. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about in English. Okay. Okay, guys. So I will about to send it to you in a couple of minutes. Please continue practicing the songs that I sent it to you last week. Because today, of course, we're going, I'm going to send you another song. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yeah. I, uh, would you like me to send it to you like the second one that I sent you or like similar to the first one <laughs> that you had to repeat the paragraph three times? Lloyd prefers the first one. What about you, Janet? What about Seahorn? Ronald, Stephanie, Yanita? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, maybe the first one. The first or one? Second is uh, uh, a little bit complicated. Uh, too fast. <laughs> I know. You know why? But if you continue play, uh, practicing like the first one, you will be able to sing, I will survive. That one is really nice. But that one is harder and faster. Okay, so we'll try to send it to you another one for the beetle, or maybe I can select for queen. Okay, I will try. Queen. queen? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, it may be a chirang. I don't know. I will I will try to use my imagination. Okay, but I will send it to you a lot of things today. Okay, at least three things for you to practice it. Okay, guys. Thank you. Okay. Hugs okay, and kisses. You. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.